Hi everybody, welcome to Game Gorgon. My name is Krug. I'm Indigo. And today we're here to talk to you about the unfortunate closure of Marvel heroes. Yeah. Just to make you aware, there are some serious topics in this video, including sexual harassment allegations. If that's something that upsets you, then... Be aware. Be aware. Marvel heroes is their own version of Diablo. It's, it's a top-down, click-around, move-around game where you get to play different Marvel heroes throughout the, the multiverse and get to destroy and crush on some major enemies. Before you ask, was Squirrel Girl an option? Yes. Yes, yes Squirrel Girl was an option. She was an option. Uh, the game has actually been long-standing. It's been out for quite yeah. a while now. They've had multiple different uh, like major events, world events. They've had seasonal events. It's been a, a pretty busy and very active yeah. game. So it was very surprising when we heard that Marvel slash Disney decided to uh, close their contract with uh, Gazillion and pull the rights away from them. The closure actually wasn't a surprise for many members of the community. They usually do a once a week dev update video and they've actually missed the last four dev updates. And then not only that, they actually were supposed to have a Halloween event that they also managed to completely skip even though they had already announced that it was going to happen, uh, which was really, really strange. And then we got the announcement. Right. And so a lot of people kind of just assumed because of all of this, yeah. it was already... Radio silence is usually an indication of something bad about to happen. Yeah, it's never really a good thing, especially with a developing game that is working on content. Right. Marvel Heroes announced on the 15th that they were going to be closing their doors on December 31st. They also announced on the 15th that they were going to be removing transactions from the game as soon as possible. We're recording this on the 18th, and we're not sure if that's something that's happened yet or not. So uh, take that for what it is. Some people were kind of offended when they saw as soon as possible in the original statement, thinking that, no, you should do it now. This shouldn't be that difficult for you. Just turn it off. It's not that hard. Uh, yeah, but developing is never just an on-off switch. So right. unless it's the physical power switch. But yeah. that's a completely different story. That's when the servers go off. That's not even then, actually. No, <laughs> that's wrong. We don't actually know the reasoning behind why they decided to actually pull the plug. We know that they had been working on the Thor Ragnarok in-game content. We know that all the way up until the doors, the entire team had been working on yeah. content. Everybody had projects to do. Yeah, and so that led to a lot of speculation and led to a lot of questioning behind why the decision was made. If it's profitable and you're already working on future developments, why yeah. stop creating content? So people started speculating that the sexual harassment allegations against the CEO of Gazillion had something to do with it. Now the allegations aren't something new. We actually can go onto Glassdoor and look at former developers that were working with the site saying that David Dorham, Dorman, Dorman? Sure. Something like that. <laughs> David. David. That uh, he had actually been a little bit too friendly with the female employees that work there. And not only are we seeing former, maybe possibly disgruntled employees, but we're also seeing Doomsaw, who is a former like creative director from the site, yeah. or from the game, saying, hey, the main reason I think it's happening is because of the sexual harassment Yeah, he doesn't come out like and say that very directly, but he implies it very heavily. Yeah. And we'll have a link to that post in, in the description. And and it's kind of a big thing that a dev which has a name and is is willing to put that information out there because this is kind of, you know, career altering. You know, you calling out a CEO of a company could prevent you from getting work. That's kind of the only thing that we can come up with of why Disney decided to pull it because if it were an employee, Disney could just say, fire X dev. But when you're the CEO of the company that's getting these allegations, you kind yeah. of just have to pull your ties because yeah. you don't want to be a part of that. You don't want to get drugged down with something that could be getting much larger and lead to significantly larger problems. You know, you don't want Disney to turn around and get sued for allowing these actions to happen. Yeah, and as far as the, the relationship of these allegations to uh, Disney pulling the rights away. Uh, just the flip side of the coin, Disney's usually very secretive about stuff like this. They usually don't talk about it, and this is all speculation as, as it relates to um, the game. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind, it's all speculation. When Marvel inevitably gives this title to another developer, what do you want to see different about the game? Let us know in the comments down below. While you're down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications whenever we post any of our absolutely amazing videos. 
And uh, go to walmart.com and uh, submit a review there so that we can uh, get up on all the shelves, little recordings of our uh, of our videos will be. We're going to be putting our CDs uh, uh, up on uh, Walmart mm -hmm. in the stores. Yep, all of our uh, compilation CD albums yes, are going to be. Have that explicit thing on it, so you know it's. Hard. Yep. Because <laughs> we say fuck sometimes. <laughs> and by sometimes he means we say fuck all the time. <laughs> fuck. That's going to be hard to edit. I'm Krugy. Get me at KrugyT on Twitter. I'm Indigo, and you can get me on Twitter at IndigoQT. You can get both of us at underscore QTimes. Until next time, bye guys.